Now, on to more serious business this morning, as we have our broad topic of discussion, greet your screens. We're talking about data management and identity security in Nigeria. Now, to do us the honors of further broadening the scope of conversation, we'll be looking at some tweets, some comments, and of course, a press release as issued by the Nigerian Identity Management Commission, NIMSI. But in the studio this morning, we have the privilege of introducing the head, strategy and program, uh, talking about Mr. Alvan Ikuku. Good morning to you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, now, we'll, we'll start basically from the activities of the commission in the last few months under the current DG, Engineer Odusoye Koka, who has talked about the need to have more Nigerians obtain their needs. I hear the number has been expanded, but whilst it is, this is part of the positive highlights, I know there have been some mischief made online in terms of how secure this data with registrations inflow coming in uh, and it's becoming one reason why we set to extend an invitation to the commission to hear from a reliable source what it is the situation at the moment thank you once again for having me and good morning nigerians um the the situation is uh calm business as usual we're doing our work and as excellently as we possibly can you know um, I would like to reassure you, the anchors of this program, and by extension, Nigerians, that there's been no data leak, at least not from the National Identity Management Commission. Uh, the Director General, Chief Executive of the Commission, Engineer Bisoye Koka Odushote, uh, has um, been very focused. She's got a five-point agenda that hopefully would um, impact positively in the realization of the eight presidential priorities of Mr. President. So, and uh, that's more like serious business. So, uh, all of the hoax around uh, data leak, uh, for me, it looks very much like a distraction. And um, we refuse to be distracted anyway. So, that's it. And um, this actually leads to some of the challenges that's been faced by Nigerians, you know, when it comes to data protection. I know that uh, we have the Nigerian Data Protection Act of 2023 that has been in motion. However, of recent, we've seen so much hack, even on WhatsApp and all that, you know, and uh, many Nigerians have been falling for this. What is the Commission doing to make sure that um, Nigerians have been protected, especially with their social media, you know, on their social media spaces? Well, the, the Commission has um, what I would like to refer to as an ironclad um, security around its um, data. And, um, and so this, this gives us a great deal of comfort. But nevertheless, um, we are open to working with uh, agencies such as the Nigeria Data Protection Commission. And we've had an excellent collaboration and working relationship with them. So it's actually within their purview to supervise matters regarding data privacy and data protection, for which we ought to be cooperative and, and uh, open up. Indeed, uh, there was um, a media hoax sometimes back, and um, we, we opened up to security agencies and, uh, of course, the Nigeria Data Protection Commission, and they did conduct investigation, and we, we came out clean on and, and, and that. So we'll continue to collaborate with um, the, the Nigeria Data Protection Commission uh, to do what's best to preserve the, the data of Nigerians. So, I mean, we, we need to be calm around such matters. Now, if you're just joining us on the show, it's a good time for you to also join the conversation online. We'll also be revisiting some of the comments coming in from Nigerians who reacted to what we now know to be a hoax as it concerns the alleged leak of information of Nigerians on phishing sites. Now, there's also the press release from NIMC would also have on the screen shortly so that our viewers can follow along. But it does have the subject. NIMC denounces allegations of data compromise, advises Nigerians to avoid giving data to phishing sites. Now, now, if you look at some of the details of this, it has also gone into details of what is captured in the circular signed by Mr. Kayo Dea Degoke, the head, Corporate Communications, NIMC. I'll just take a quick perusal through some of the uh, details of this. It says the National Identity Management Commission, NIMC, wishes to disbunk the exposure of sensitive data of Nigerian citizens as it concerns the Commission, amongst many other data collecting agencies, as alleged and reported. 
The commission at this moment assures the public that the data of Nigerians has not been compromised. The commission has also not authorized any website or entity to sell or misuse the national identification number mean amongst all identities stated in the report. The following websites, idfinder.com.ng, verify.ng slash sign in, championtech.com.ng and trustyonline.com, amongst others, are data harvesters not authorized by the NIMC to access or manage sensitive data. NIMC urges the public to disregard any claims of data provided by the public on such websites as gathered and stored to build the data service they illegally provide. Consequently, the public should know that the Commission has taken robust measures to safeguard the nation's database from cyber threats. A secure world-class foolproof database is also in place. The Commission's infrastructure meets the stringent ISO 2007-2023 Information Security Management System Standard with annual recertification and strict compliance with the Nigerian Data Protection Law. Furthermore, NIMC advises Nigerians to avoid giving their data to unauthorized phishing sites. This poses danger of data harvesting and compromises individuals' data. The Commission reaffirms its commitment to upholding ethical standards in data protection in line with the federal government's directives and data privacy regulations. Moreover, licensed private vendors are not authorized to scan or store NIM, but to verify NIMs through approved channels. The Commission is working closely with security operators to apprehend these elements masquerading as online vendors and they will be made to face the full wrath of the law. NIMSI also urges the public to remain vigilant against false information and rely on verified sources for accurate updates. The Commission remains committed to providing secure and reliable identity management and upholding the highest level of security or system which are critical in our national assets. This is signed by Mr. Kayo De Adegoke, Head Corporate Communications, NIMSI, dated the 22nd of june 2024 now now just for our viewers at home to also follow the conversation is also available on verified x handles of nimc and on their website but since we do have mr alvin in the studio i'd like to ask as it concerns the aforementioned phishing sites who are posing as online vendors H how valuable is the mean and why do you think that this business of online phishing for data is somewhat thriving in the nigerian space I hope in reacting that I will not be marketing those online fishing sites, you know, per perhaps as, as a matter of our corporate policy and uh, we being a very responsible corporate entity that um, the corporate communications department decided to put out that press statement. Left to me, I would not even have joined issues with them, you know, but Nigerians need to be sensitized, Nigerians need to be aware. So. Uh, the ones you listed, if they are more, fine and good. Nigerians should actually be aware so that they don't fall prey uh, to their antics. So, so they go about fishing, mining people's data, which is wrong and irresponsible. Indeed, it's a, a criminal act. And you can be rest assured that the Nigerian security, um, security system would definitely clamp down on them. And if there is any cooperation that... NIMSI can offer to make that happen, certainly we would, we would make that happen. Uh, and to Nigerians as well, because there's also on, if this need is not so valuable, people would not be going through fraudulent means to try and obtain means yeah. that do not belong to them. How behoven it, is it on Nigerians to ensure that they do not disclose such means to any persons not but only fishing sites? Well, Nigerians are not supposed to disclose that except they want to receive a service for which perhaps uh, the mean is required before that service is rendered. Um, on on the on the sleep of uh, the mean the mean sleep proper, um, there is a little disclaimer there and some warning, some caution to the holders of the mean that they should not disclose that except when they trust the transaction and it is required for that particular transaction. So. Um, Nigerians need to be aware that the mean is actually the identity, you know, so, and uh, 
they need to protect their identity because when some bad folks get hold of your identity, then I'm afraid they, they can actually impersonate you. And it could have far reaching implications. Yeah. Now, there are also programs and strategies I know your office has been saddled with, and this is prior to our former engagements with Nimsi on the show here. Uh, our viewers who follow the show can also remember the talks about having a multi purpose identity card. Uh, I hear that that event has gained momentum. Uh, Nigerians to expect the unveiling of the card anytime soon? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, uh, it's actually part of our man mandate to uh, issue general multipurpose card to Nigerians who are age 16 and above. And uh, as a matter of fact, that um, we, we could not attend to that in all earnestness uh, to Nigerians. Uh, but um, going forward, under the administration of uh, Engineer Abiso Ekoka Odusote, um, which is one of the five-point agenda of uh, the Madam DG, um, the card will be issued to Nigerians. Um, we are collaborating with the uh, Nigerian Interbank Settlement uh, System to ensure that that happens. So in earnest, I, as much as I wouldn't want to start giving particular dates that, that the rollout would happen, but mm. uh, I, I, I almost can tell you uh, somewhat authoritatively that um, the pilot is very much around the corner and so once once the pilot scheme is rolled out we'll be good to go and Nigerians can very well expect that they'll receive their general multipurpose cards. Well that's amazing but for the sake of uh, new viewers who mm. probably didn't get the information as to what the multipurpose uh, national card entails and uh, how ready they should be to accept it. Can you just give an outline of what to expect from the card and what the card can do? Well, the, the card is an identity token, but um, uh, lay layered on that token will be uh, some other applets, uh, which you can very well determine which you want mm. on your own particular card and um, you go about making use of your card. So um, before now, in the, in the previous scheme, it had a uh, 13 applets on it, you know, in, uh, which obviously covered the EMV, the payment applet, the uh, for driver's license, for voting, etc. But they were hardly ever activated except the the payment applet, you know. But um, right now, um, it will be it will be good enough for payment. Uh, it could be good enough for identification purposes as well. So Nigerians can. Uh, <laughs> very well expect that um, the, the card would bring more value in the identity management scheme, you know, of things. Now, Nigerians are also very sensitive with cost implications. Many yeah, persons are already important. asking. Yeah, very important. How much would that cost? <laughs> well, um, I wouldn't know what the cost would be. Nigerians should expect that. But um, we are a very sensitive um, establishment. Uh, very sensitive establishment. As, as a matter of fact, it, it costs resources to produce the card. So, and um, th these are, it's not going to be a free meal, um, but it's not going to be exorbitant, that much I can say. So, once that is determined, Nigerians will know how much it costs. Mm -hmm. uh, to get your ATM card, I think it would cost in the neighborhood of a thousand naira. Yeah. So, if, if there's a payment applet on the card or you, an individual desires to have a payment applet on his or her card, I think the cost should also hover around that because, I mean, the, 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 the banks also would have to uh, bear, bear, bear the cost of that. So they, they need to defray their cost, rather. Mm. Now, it's also important to state that uh, as the multipurpose card will have payments applets, it will also serve as a means of identifications to Nigerians and the name multipurpose is well instead used to capture some of the highlight features to expect. Now, particularly when we talk numbers, the World Bank has also uh, been part of the drivers of this initiative. The World Bank has also reportedly disbursed uh, $45.5 million to the National Identity Management Commission on the, the Digital Identification Development Project. And then it's a project that is not a one-off. It's been happening in trenches, uh, dating all the way back to December of 2021. 
and we have a new DG, the abled engineer Oduse Dusote Koka, who has talked about her five points agenda uh, in bringing on board this project as well. Uh, how well has this funds gone in aiding Nigerians have a more digitalized means of registering and also obtaining uh, multi-purpose cards? Okay, um, the, the fund in question came under the ages of the uh, Identity for Development program. And um, the World Bank is not the only agency uh, that is funding that. Uh, the French Development Agency as well as the European Investment Bank. Um, but nevertheless, World Bank is the lead, and so people would naturally keep referring to the World, World Bank. Bank. Um, however, let me clear to you and to Nigerians that that intervention was only for data, uh, data capture, for enrollment activities, and not for CAD. Uh, if, if going forward, uh, the, those development agencies decide that they would like to expand this project to include um, CAD issuance and uh, some other of NIMSI's um, mandate, uh, fine and good, but for now, the intervention is only for uh, enrollment activities, for front-end front enrollment activities. Now, in terms of enrollments, we also gather, I don't know if it's largely correct, that there was a deadline set for enrollment that was the 1st of June 2024, and looking that we're past that deadline, where are we in terms of our enrollment goal? Is there a goal for the number of Nigerians uh, NIMSI is looking to have obtained their NINs? And is it true that it was set at the 1st of June? I, I, don't have, I don't think there's any truth in that, you know, that it was set at the 1st of June. Uh, Nigerians would, um, we, are, we are open. Uh, before now, we had challenges in terms of infrastructure to, uh, to even collect data as a, as a commission which was why we decided to go the route of uh, involving front-end partners who are basically private sector concern who have distinguished themselves in um, data collection. So they help out in this process and is on a pay-per-play basis, okay? So uh, when they successfully capture an individual and a national identification number is issued, uh, they get paid for that. So. Uh, so that's that's basically what happens around that, you know. Let's um, look at the implication of this card. Does that mean that uh, Nigerians will now uh, literally now have to carry multiple card cards around? Oh sure, uh, it should it should lead to that, you know, if if we are all cooperative enough. Uh, but in terms of uh, the data itself, I can assure you it's going to be centralized. Uh, going forward, all government services would uh, be rendered conditional upon being appropriately identified against uh, the NIMSI database. So that, that would be the central identity database. So um, yes, it will bring about that ease, answering your question rather directly, it will bring about that ease in terms of uh, carrying multiplicity of cards uh, <laughs> ranging from payment, licenses, etc. Maybe even Sunday voting, okay? Oh, wow. Yeah. We, we wait for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and on more enrollments is also been uh, about some of the media engagements like the DG had over the last few months where she also talked about some of the challenges with having enrollments done using FEPs, front end partners, where some unsuspecting criminal minds are also looking to prey on Nigerians and have fraudulently extorted money from them to register them for their NINs, reiterating that enrolling for NIN is free. I'd like for you to just further buttress that point as well. Yeah, to Nigerians, enrollment is free, okay? Uh, enrollment for your NIN is free. Uh, however, for Nigerians in diaspora, um, they, they pay, they pay a token, okay? And so even the front-end partners who are uh, of course, working for the commission who have been engaged to capture data, have that responsibility to to also enroll Nigerians for free. Instead, they they get their cause defrayed when they have successfully enrolled an individual, and that is measured by NIN issuance. If a NIN is successfully issued to a Nigerian citizen or a legal resident, they get paid. For that not from the individual not from the individual so 
Uh, let me use this as a clarion call to Nigerians that, uh, and legal residents that um, if any front-end partner were to make a demand for payment, no matter how minimal, I think it should be reported to the authorities. Now, the also, uh, in line with these challenges, are uh, some of the issues with modifying data, owing to the fact that some of the Nigerians who are not well literate have to interface with front-end partners who, in imputing their data, make common errors in their dates of birth, addresses, and even in gender sometimes. Uh, we hear that NIMSI has developed uh, a user-friendly interface where Nigerians can make corrections from the ease of their homes. Very true, very correct. Uh, that, that has happened. Uh, it's called the self-service self modification. And uh, Nigerians can modify their date of birth, their, their names, uh, their addresses, their telephone number uh, from that platform. Does this come at any cost? Oh, certainly would come at some cost, you know. But um, the, it, 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 it extends the privileges of ease of doing business, and I think we should all be happy for that. Now, in line with President Bola Ahmed Tinubu's renewed hope agenda, we also are, are getting a wink of some partnerships with NASCO, and we hear that NIMSI is going to be key in this deployment of palliatives to the intended beneficiaries who are to be verified using their name. Does this mean that NIMS now would form a integral part of our national social register, or what's this partnership with NASCO about? Yeah, that's what I've been trying to say all the while, and that's the way to go. In, in some other jurisdictions around the world, um, basically they do that. Maybe they don't call it NIM, There's some call it social security number, and uh, some call it the ADHA, and what have you, depending on where you are around the world. So ours is a national identification number. It's only proper that um, uh, persons within the country who desire to receive service are properly identified using the uh, national identification number. It's unique. It's unique. And um, uh, w once you receive it, you know, that becomes your identity for life. And it's actually retired upon the death of that individual. So uh, collaborations with uh, entities like the National Population Commission would, would also help a great deal, especially in determining when individuals are born, so for the bet, and also for the debt when, when individuals pass so that the name can be appropriately retired. Now, in, in reaction to this, uh, uh, some comments also coming in this morning. We'll look at some comments from our viewers who are watching virtually. Uh, let's take the comments as they greet the screen this morning. So if we have any of the comments, let's uh, project them as Nigerians react to the topic of the day, data management and information security in Nigeria. Uh, Mr. Alvin has dispelled those rumors going around. We have uh, Teres Kara, I hope I got the right, says, isn't the mean supposed to be like a social security number peculiar to an individual? Not a good look. A uh, massive breach of data. Now, it's been dispelled that uh, the phishing sites do not have any actual data as mischief making, yeah. but like you said, I think uh, uh, the point has been reiterated. It's supposed to serve as Nigeria's national security number. Yeah. Another comment coming in from Odid Day says, the website seems to have been pulled down. That is, any verify and express verify. But why would they deny this? Uh, it's been pulled down because it is indeed false. I don't know, not to take word out of your mouth, but in reaction to this comment on screen, uh, I think uh, this viewer is noting that those websites, those phishing sites, some of them have been pulled down. Well, I, I, I wouldn't know. Possibly they've been pulled down, or maybe maybe just the antics that, 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 and the... Uh, Operating mechanism to go down when um, there's a lot of heat on them. Uh, a lot of heat on them. Maybe, maybe they may resurface tomorrow. Who knows? But obviously, um, what's paramount is that Nigerians need to be sensitized well enough to know that those are wrong sites. They need not go to those sites uh, to do business or to provide their personal identifiable information. It is wrong. Now, now, let's look at um, um, trailing the site. Uh, is uh, the NIMSI having some sort of collaboration to be able to um, trail the site so as to find their, their, origin, their originators and probably clamp down on them? Well, I can tell you that um, the, the, the data which NIMSI um, houses is a national asset. Okay, 
it is a national asset. And because it is, it naturally should have um, all of the interest of um, government taking steps to protect it. Mm. So the security agencies under the umbrella of the National Security Advisor is on top of things as, as regards uh, going about protecting this critical national asset in, in by, by way of the, the, the data that is domiciled in NIMSI. Uh, so uh, pa part of that um, Part of that um, activity of protecting also includes um, trying to perhaps clamp down on mischief makers. I think that's within the purview of the security agencies to handle that. Um, it wouldn't be my place to to say so <laughs> to mm. to begin to tell you the details and nitty gritty of that. I'm, yeah. I'm not. I'm, uh, it, would, it wouldn't just be my place. So at some point, I'm sure. Uh, the security agencies under the purview of national security advisors will um, will definitely let Nigerians know um, how they've tackled this menace because that's really what it is. Now, in in your capacity as head strategy and program office of the National Identity Management Commission (NIMSI), are there any programs that Nigerians should look out for in the coming months or coming years that uh, the age, uh, the commission through your office will be spearheading? Yeah, sure. Um, the the long talk, age long talk about the harmonization and integration of databases has gained mm. momentum, and yes, uh, under under my supervision, uh, that's supposed to happen. Uh, all of the ministries, departments, and agencies in the country are supposed to harmonize and integrate with NIMSI so that um, as they carry on their functional business, they can leverage on the a foundational identity which NIMSI provides. So that's that's one initiative that Nigerians should be on the lookout for. We've talked about the CADs, and uh, from the CADs, uh, the government to people payments can can also happen. Uh, of course, enrollment is going on. That's one of the uh, five point agenda. Um, enrollment is going on massively at the moment. We have uh, about 108 million in counting. And uh, that, that that continues to... 108 million, million registered Nigerians registered who have their needs. You had me right, yeah. Mm. Correct. Uh, and lastly, as we wrap up, with we, our final question for the day is how, how achievable is this in terms of the technology at play for registrations at birth and at death? You had highlighted it earlier in our database so that when children are born, they get digitally registered into the, the, the register. And when a person uh, sadly passes on, that name too can be removed from our, our, our database. Yeah, um, technology um, can only be as limited as uh, the thinking of those who <laughs> want that to happen. Mm. You know, so um, of course they they can. That that's already happening. Um, it's not our mandate to register birth. It's not our mandate to confer citizenship. There are agencies who. Are responsible for that for 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 birth registration. It is the National Population Commission, yeah. and so we are collaborating. It's going to be an intersectoral oh, collaboration. Oh, sure, we are already oh. doing that. We're already collaborating with them, and uh, we. If you desire to change your date of birth, um, you don't just walk in and express your desire. You you mm. must back it up with an attestation from the National Population Commission mm. and. Mm. And that would happen. They are the authority for that. Yeah. Well, we must thank you, Mr. Alvan Ikoku, for making our time to grace the platform this morning. We appreciate you. Thank you very much for having me. Well, this is the size of this uh, interactive session discussing data management and information security in Nigeria. Do note that you can rewatch this episode on our YouTube channel at ADBN TV underscore NG. Well, important highlights to take away in way of summary is the fact that some of the forthcoming programs to look out for is Nigerians who can be expectant that a harmonized database would mm. be achieved in the coming months, where even if you need to travel through immigration, whatever you need the data for, you can, through the NIMC platform, have a harmonized database. Yeah. This will also mean that uh, Nigerians who look to benefit from some of the Renewed Hope mandates, uh, palliative yes, measures... will just have the card to do that. And then for transactions, multi-purpose card, instead of having an ATM, your driver's license, an ID card, one card does it all. Uh, yeah, and I, I mean, that's, that's um, being digital.
<laughs> in being digital remember you can watch us from every part of the world by logging on to our website on www.adbntv.com forward slash live for mm -hmm. more on the updates as it concerns today's topic